Hey, it's Nurse C, Blessed are in, and I'm coming to show you how to set up dimensional analysis problems using the puzzle piece method. I'm going to include several examples for different types of problems that you might see in your dosage calculations class. So these are the steps. Step one is obviously to read the problem. Then in step two, right after you read it, you identify the goal. The goal is the picture on the puzzle box. It is what the question is asking for you to solve for. This is what we want our equations to look like once we get done setting up the equation. And then three is to identify the puzzle pieces. These are your conversions. These are your concentrations of your medicine, your ordered amount, your patient's weight, anything that is together stays together. It belongs together on one puzzle piece. Then step four is to set up your puzzle according to what the goal tells you to start with. Five, we're going to connect the puzzle pieces by canceling out all the units except for the goal. And then we're going to multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and divide the top by the bottom. So let's take a look at a couple of practice problems. 1,050 micrograms equals how many milligrams? So the goal is milligrams. So our puzzle pieces will be the micrograms that we have in the equation that needs to be converted and our conversion from one milligram to micrograms. So one milligram is 1,000 micrograms. The goal is milligrams, so I always start with what I am looking for. It'll be the first puzzle piece and it'll go on the top. So one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. So now we need to cancel out those micrograms because they are not a part of the goal. So I have a puzzle piece that has micrograms in it. So I'll then use the micrograms at the top so they can cancel out with the micrograms at the bottom. Anything that is by itself, I will put over one so we can see that it is in the numerator and not the denominator. We'll multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and then divide to get 1.05 milligrams. So 157 pounds, how many kgs is that? Our goal is kilograms. So our puzzle pieces are the 157 pounds and then our conversion of one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. This is a golden conversion. You need this a lot in dosage calc. So our goal says to start with kgs. So that'll be first and it'll go on top. So one kg equals 2.2 pounds. And now I'll have my pounds to go at the top to cross out with my pounds at the bottom and multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, divide the top by the bottom, and then you get 71.36 kilograms. Do you see the trend yet? So 5.5 cups equals how many milliliters? So our puzzle pieces are the 5.5 cups. And so I need to go from cups to milliliters. I know that one cup equals eight ounces. And then I also know that one ounce equals 30 milliliters. Okay, so I'm going to put my puzzle together by starting with the milliliters because that's what the goal is. You start with what you're looking for. You don't have to go and find it. So 30 milliliters is one ounce. So now I need to cross my ounces out. So I'll put the puzzle piece that has ounces in it and I'll flip it so that my ounces are at the top because I have to cancel out the ounces at the bottom. So eight ounces is one cup. So I cross out my units as I go along and now I'm left with cups at the bottom. So I need cups at the top. So I'll put my 5.5 cups at the top. The cups crosses out. Everything is gone except for milliliters. So now I'll just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom and then divide to get 1,320 milliliters. Let's look at a milliliter per hour problem. The healthcare provider prescribes an infusion of medication with the concentration of four grams per 50 milliliters to be infused over 30 minutes. How many milliliters per hour should the nurse set the pump to deliver the prescribed dose? So our goal is milliliter per hour. That means milliliter needs to be on the top and hour needs to be on the bottom. So we are looking for volume, which is 50 milliliters over time, which is 30 minutes, okay? So since I have minutes at the bottom, 
I know I need hours at the bottom according to my goal. So I will use the time conversion of one hour is equal to 60 minutes. I'll put my 60 minutes over the one hour so that the minutes will go on the top to cancel out with the minutes that's at the bottom. And now I have the goal. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, divide the top by the bottom once again, and we'll have 100 milliliters per hour. Drop per minute. An IV piggyback of 400 milligrams medication A in 50 milliliters of D5W is to be infused over 45 minutes. The infusion set has a calibration of 20 drops per milliliter. How many drops per minute should the nurse set to deliver the order dose. So our goal is drops per minute. Once again, volume over time. So our volume is 50 milliliters. The infusion time is 45 minutes. So those go together. They'll stay together on one puzzle piece. And then our drops per milliliter, which is our drop factor, is 20 drops per milliliter. Our goal wants the drops on the top and the minutes on the bottom. So I'm going to start with what the goal tells me to, which is the drops. So 20 drops over milliliter. I've used that puzzle piece, so now it's gone. Now I need to put my milliliters on the top. So I'll use 50 milliliters over 45 minutes. Milliliters crosses out, and now I have the goal of drops on the top and minutes on the bottom. So now we can finally do the math. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, divide the top by the bottom, and we'll get 22.2 .2 repeating drops per minute, and we'll round that to the nearest whole number of 22 drops per minute. Weight-based problems. A prescriber orders dextrose 5% in water, which is D5W, 250 mLs with dopamine, 600 milligrams per 250 ml. At a rate of 7.5 mics per kilogram per minute, patient weighs 155 pounds. The nurse should set the infusion pumps to deliver how many mLs per hour? Round to the nearest whole number. Our goal is milliliter per hour, so we need PPP, our patient's weight, the prescription, and the product of the medicine. This is a weight-based problem. 155 pounds is a puzzle piece. Our prescription is 7.5 mics per kilogram per minute, and then that's a puzzle piece. And our last puzzle piece will be the concentration of the medicine, which is 600 milligrams per 250 ml. The goal has a milliliter at the top, an hour at the bottom. So I'll start with my milliliters. I'm going to take that puzzle piece and I'm going to flip it and put my milliliters at the top. So 250 mLs over 600 milligrams. So now I've got milligrams at the bottom. I need milligrams at the top because it's not a part of the goal. My puzzle piece has micrograms in it. So I'll need to put a conversion. So one milligram is 1,000 micrograms. I put my milligrams at the top so it'll cancel out. Now I've got micrograms at the bottom and I've got a puzzle piece with micrograms in it. So 7.5 mics goes over kilogram slash minute. My micrograms cross out. So now I have kilogram and minute at the bottom. I've got to get rid of these kgs, but I don't have a puzzle piece with kg. I have pounds, so I'll need to do another conversion. One kg is 2.2 pounds. Kilograms crosses out. And now I can put my pounds at the top. And I'll put it over one because it doesn't equal to anything. It's just by itself. Pounds crosses out. And the last thing I have at the bottom is minute. My goal says I need hour. So I'll do my 60 minute to one hour conversion and everything has crossed out except for milliliter per hour. No math has been done until this point. So now we'll multiply all of your numbers across the top and you might get a big number, but keep going. <laughs> all of your numbers across the bottom and then you'll divide the top by the bottom and you will get your answer which is 13.27, we'll round to the nearest whole number. So we start at the whole number, go one decimal place to the right, and it'll be 13 milliliters per hour. 
I make it as easy as cookies and puzzles. Make sure you check out the quizzes on my website and the free resources and the live sessions. And as always, be blessed.